Hi everybody, so ready for a new video. Uh, today I'll show you about Windows in, uh, in the BIM workbench of FreeCAD. Uh, two things I need to tell you first. Uh, one is that uh, all these videos I'm doing here uh, about BIM in FreeCAD, uh, each of them comes together with a blog post uh, I write every month about what I'm doing um, in FreeCAD. Uh, so in the comment of this video, I will post the, uh, the address of the link of the, this month's post, which this video is part, is part of. Uh, I will do the same for the other videos, so you can relate uh, each video to the corresponding post. Uh, and the second thing is that, um, probably most of you know that already, um, I have this, Patreon account uh, where you can help me um, to spend more time of my month on FreeCAD. Uh, I will put the address in the comment as well. Um, so basically, um, people donating to me help me to spend a couple of my working hours on FreeCAD. And uh, the more it goes, the more time I can spend on developing FreeCAD uh, per month. That's it, and once again, thanks a million to everybody who is already helping me. So let's talk about Windows. Uh, first, I'm going to draw a couple of walls, so we have somewhere to play the Windows too. That's it, one more. I will make them a little bit higher three meters okay windows in in FreeCAD are can be really simple but they are really complex and powerful objects uh, basically if you choose the window button uh, you can select one of the presets um, all these presets here uh, come from the parts library uh, which is um, a library of objects for FreeCAD uh, that you can install uh, with the add-on manager that's in tools add-on manager here. Um, I just added this feature now in development version of FreeCAD so if you're using the stable version the 0 0.17 version you will only have these first uh, options here and not the whole content of the library. But this will come, it's already in the master version and sooner or later uh, it will come to you. Um, so uh, these presets here are really simple. Um, you choose one of the, those presets, you have a fixed window, you have a one pane window, you have a two panes opening window, a sliding window, and then you just have to set the correct parameters here. And um, this uh, graphic show you, shows you what parameters correspond to what other parameters. Uh, if you go in Edit Preferences, it doesn't show all the preferences, but I will gonna fix that sooner or later. You go in Arch Preference and Default, and uh, you can set the default values for Windows here. So this will already fill these settings with your default values. Um, basically, you just fill some values and then you can go here and place your window. Click somewhere and your windows is placed inside the wall. It will create a hole in the wall as well. And if you click the wall, you will see here that your windows, your windows is integrated inside the wall. So you're not forced to draw a window inside the wall. You could just place a window anywhere. Let's say here. It's not part of any wall, and you can just move it to its correct place in, inside the wall. For example, I could move this window to there, inside the wall. Of course, it didn't create a hole in the wall, because it doesn't know it's part of this wall. You can just add a window to a wall simply, simply by selecting both and pressing the Add button. Uh, you can remove it uh, the same way uh, with the minus button um, and you see the window is here. Uh, basically how that works internally is the interesting part. 
Um, each window, uh, when it's part of a wall, it has a host property here. It can be, it can have more than one host. So this is how a window knows that it's part of a wall, uh, simply because its host property is filled with some other object. Um, how does it work internally? Uh, each of these windows, you see, for example, this one or this one has a sketch. Basically, is based on a sketch. If I make this sketch visible, you see, this is very simple sketch. It basically has closed loops, and that's all that matters for windows. You can draw any kind of sketch yourself and turn it into a window very easily. It just needs to have closed loops. Um, you can use any any tool for that. You could, um, draw, of course, use sketches, but you could also use, for example, draft rectangles. Do one rectangle, remove its face property, draw another, another rectangle, I also make its face property to false, so it doesn't create a face. And then I could make with this a compound. Let's go back to our Bing workbench because it has already the compound tool here. This can be used to make a window as well. So any 2D shape that has that is only made of closed loops uh, can be used to make windows. Um, the, the hole uh, that will be um, that will be made in the host uh, shape uh, will be done by taking the biggest uh, loop in the biggest uh, closed loop in in the sketch or in the base to the object and just extruding it. Um, how is the window uh, actually? Um, I will take this one for example because I moved this one. Uh, after I created it, so the sketch stayed in its place, but this one hasn't been moved, so the sketch is uh, right at the, at the right place. Um, these windows uh, have, um, all of them have height and width property that you can change. I could make this 120, and you see that both the window and oh, and its sketch, its base sketch, have moved. How does that work? Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, all that you need is that your sketch has a width constraint and a height constraint. So when a window is based on a sketch, and that sketch has a width and a height uh, constraint, uh, it will automatically link the width and height property of the window to the width and height uh, constraint of the sketch. So basically, you can do, you can design your, your sketch the way you want. Um, the only thing you need is to have a height and width constraint somewhere, and then the window will find them and um, move them the, 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 the way it needs. Um, basically, after that. Um, when you have a window, if you double click in it, you get to this edit screen. And uh, how does that work? Actually, a window is made of several components, which are those here. You can create how as many components uh, as you want. Each component is basically a solid of the window. So the, the, the glass piece is a solid, the frame is a solid, you could have several other panels that are each of them is a solid. And each of these is a component. Basically, the rule is simple. A component is based on one loop or more than one loop. And it works like this. Um, let's, for example, um, check this component. I can make edit. And you can give it a name and a type. Frame, solid panel, glass panel, or rover. Um, if it's a frame, uh, it will take, uh, you can here pick some of the wire of the object. If you make it a frame, it will basically, and actually the same works for, for, for panels as well. If you take one loop, one wire only, it will just take that wire and extrude it as a 
full panel. If you take more than one, it will extrude the bigger one and subtract the smaller ones. Uh, so that's exactly what happens here. Um, our out of frame, we picked two wires, uh, the big one and the smaller one, and it will extrude the big one and remove the smaller one. So you will end up with the frame. Um, the glass just has one wire, which is the inner one, and it's just extruded. And then for each of these things, you give it the extrusion thickness and uh, an offset, so you can bring it uh, above the, the others or in front of one or the other. You have this system here, uh, which is used for opening. So you, you can select one edge that will become the hinge, and so you ma can make one panel openable. And then you have several uh, types of opening. Um, so that's basically how those windows work. Uh, you can also clone a window. Let's turn these sketches off. You can take a window here, press the clone button, and you have another window. that you can move and also insert it in a wall. So this allows you actually to, to make, um, basically to work a little bit like families in Revit, uh, that instead of having one, the concept of family doesn't exist in, in FreeCAD, uh, but you can reproduce the same behavior quite easily, having one master window type. Um, and then having clones of that window. And then if you change the master window, all the clones will uh, adapt as well. And finally, one addition that came recently in the BIM Workbench is this Windows Manager, which is basically um, one screen here uh, that allows you to manage all the windows from your document. And uh, you can do several things uh, with all the windows at once, which can be useful. Uh, first, it counts the number of windows and doors, uh, then you can take some, you can classify them by, let's say, for example, by size. Um, you can select all those windows and change uh, one thing for all of them. Uh, let's say, for example, these two must have a special tag, let's say window one. And this one will have window 2, then you can classify them by tag, and you can do all those bulk operations uh, with our, which are usually very important and useful when, when like classifying all the windows of your, of your project or things like that. Um, well, I guess that's it. Uh, one last thing I forgot to say about windows is materials. Um, you can give uh, materials to those windows uh, simply uh, by going to their properties and setting a material here. If you make a multi-material for them, uh, you can give a specific material for frames, for example, and for glass. Uh, that can be pretty useful. Um, for example, let's create one uh, aluminium material and one glass material. I will simply put a color so we can recognize them. So I have these two materials. Now I'll create a multi-material that I will call um, window material. And I give two layers. One I'll set to frame, and I give it aluminum material. No need to use thickness because it won't be used here. And one for glass panel that I set to glass. And then I can take all my windows and give them the window material and you see that the materials go correctly to the correct parts of the window this is a pretty easy way to manage window materials as, as well so i guess that's it for windows for today 
Uh, I hope this was useful and uh, as always uh, leave me some comments in the video um, uh, to tell me what you thought about this and um, and also uh, also important uh, don't forget to if you are interested in taking part of all the, all the development of this uh, join us on the FreeCAD forum I will uh, put the address uh, in the comments as well and that's where all the discussion about all this is happening and uh, everybody is more than welcome to come and give ideas and try to, and help to, to make this go forward and go in the right direction. Um, so that's it. See you next month. Bye.